Well, this is it. No grander occasion in football, and what a perfect venue befitting the unique circumstances. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box to enjoy the spectacle is Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff now in the World Cup final. Stuart, tell us about your pre match thoughts. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. This is what they'll be up against today. Rodrigo Bentancur plays alongside Lucas Torreira in the middle of midfield. And in attack, Luis Suarez plays alongside Edinson Cavani. And now they get the ball rolling. a clever attack from Luis Suarez a good and fair challenge well it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal it's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group they had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia Derek, he's got to tuck this away Suarez and there to intervene. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, in with a chance! And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final. Incredible celebrations! Well, let's just take another look at this through ball by Ronaldo. He gets the timing absolutely right. And in the 1v1, Fernandez makes no mistake. He never really looked like missing, did he? What a goal that is. One nil then. Luis Suarez. It's Cavani going forward this time. Torreira. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Well, he tried to place it, but off the frame of the goal. Yes, he's hit the woodwork, but really from that distance, he should be tucking that away. Cavani in position. Well, fantastic reflex action.
Otavio. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? Promising sequence. Has eyes for goal! Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Suarez. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Cristiano Ronaldo. Joao Felix. Oh, managing to beat him. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Goal. 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. Goal. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Valverde onto Suarez moving into the advanced position must be and effectively parried away by the keeper Cristiano Ronaldo well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Ronaldo and it's fallen for Ronaldo Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So the action underway again here with Portugal very much in control. Cavani Giorgian de Arascaeta oh, Lovely incisive pass Oh yes, a goal Exactly what they were looking for And he's come up with it Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Luis Suarez. And the pass weighted by Suarez. Bernardo Silva. An important interception. Cavani. That is that for the first half here.
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Plenty of support here. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Oh, left his man behind here. Joao Felix. Ronaldo. Interception to snuff out the danger. Something to worry about here. Still could put it away. Ronaldo Silva. Ronaldo Silva on target and has scored. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they can add. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? So, half an hour remaining. Chance for Cavani! Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Cavani... Now Suarez, a goal from Cavani. He's just so cool in front of goal. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish, but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Scoreline 4 2. Ronaldo. Chance to do damage. Felix. And options in the centre. And Bernardo Silva has it. Bruno Fernandes. Pivotal moment defensively. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. And they're making a change. So the corner played into the box and did his job defensively. Bentancourt. Can he put it in? Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. A few 
enjoy high scoring contests this has been the game for you Ronaldo are racing away here determined defending five minutes remaining and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close and the flag has gone up here offside the decision Ronaldo, useful looking ball, in it goes, and surely that's the end of the story, they cannot throw us away from here. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And Bernardo Silva, what a clever bit of play it is from him, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Silva. Bentancourt. Now Suarez. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.